Hey guys, my name's Scott McNamara. I'm with Jesus at the Door. I just want to talk to you guys today about sowing and reaping. I believe the kingdom of God is made up of sowing and reaping. It's kind of like the law of life. We sow to then reap. And I believe in the church we're incredible at sowing, but I believe we need to get better at reaping. I think a lot of the problem has been uh, fear. You know, we've kind of felt like we haven't maybe got the qualifications needed to lead someone over that line of faith. So we relinquish a little when it comes to that line and we, we, we feel confident, you know, sharing our faith. So uh, sometimes you feel confident, you know, uh, with debt counseling or feeding the poor or, or even praying for the sick which are all incredible kingdom initiatives. But when it comes to leading that individual over the line of faith, we can sometimes relinquish. So what we need to do is start holding the gospel with the power that it deserves and believing that this gospel has the power to change somebody's life. So we wanna encourage you guys to step out and begin to start reaping. The tool with the Jesus at the door, the idea behind it is that it is, it is a reaping tool. So it's like a roadmap. We want to give you a roadmap that's going to take you where you need to go. A lot of the time when we're sharing the gospel, we don't know where we're going. We're like, well, I'll pray for them. I'll maybe pray for healing, but then we don't know where to go after that. And I think if we know where we want to go to, then I think it can make a difference, you know. When you get in your car and you go somewhere, you go to the store, you don't kind of just get in and say, I'll see where I end up. You know exactly where you're going. It's about being intentional. And I want everybody to be intentional with the gospel and with individuals, because I've seen too many people perish. You know, the last thing we want to do is heal somebody and then they go and die and go to hell. So what we want to do, you know, we want to heal them in their body, but we want to heal them in their soul. And we do that by introducing them to Jesus. So I think it's key if we can begin to do that. John chapter four, verse 35, Jesus said, the fields are white for harvest. I believe it's a season that the church is in, a season of harvest. And what we want to do through our tool is just encourage you guys and say, come on, Let's pray for healing, yeah, but let's not stop there. Let's introduce them to the everlasting lifeline, that is Jesus. God bless you guys. And Lord, I pray for everybody watching in Jesus' name that you would inspire them and encourage them to become reapers in Jesus' name.